McDonald under center. Play action. Sitting back there. It'll be tipped by Hicks and picked off by Malik. Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? It's your favorite pilot, Conscious Buddha, and we are back with episode 25 of our Howard University Dynasty Rebuild, and it's time for the awards. It's time for the bowl game. It's time to finish off this season with a bang, coming off a big win against Pittsburgh. Let's see what we got. We got Milton winning returner of the year after his record-breaking season, and we got Hicks getting his second consecutive Jim Thorpe Award after his season. And we are slated to play in the Armed Forces Bowl against Central Florida. Eric Davis from Nebraska will win the Heisman Trophy. Didn't really follow his season, but he had 49 total touchdowns. That's a big year. And looking at the bowl games here and the slate of matchups coming your way, it's looking like some big-time matchups are coming up. And you already know, Texas and Boise State in the National Championship. I mean, they've been the top two teams all year. Boise is the last remaining undefeated team in major college sports. So we'll get right into the action here. Howard against the UCF Knights. Armed Forces Bowl. Coach Milton's first bowl game. This will be a neutral site, so we won't have the theatrics of the band this game. But it's another national broadcast. It's a cold day. We're here in Texas, Fort Worth, and I mean, we did it. We did it. This isn't the national championship. We aren't undefeated. We aren't even ranked, but this right here is the platform that can spring us forward into making the type of headway that we need to make moving forward to get on TV, to get those primetime slots. You see Grimes here, seventh in the country in passing yards. 38 passing touchdowns. Even Corso is picking us to win. So let's get right into the game. Hines will kick it off. This is Coach Milton's first bowl game. Howard's first bowl game as an FBS 1A major college football team. Clemens on the return, and he will fumble, and Hicks is there for the recovery. And just like that, Howard looks to start off fast. Howard will get the ball at the 33. Grimes will roll to his left. You know he loves that left sideline. Coming up field, he'll try to throw a juke, but he'll get tackled inside the 20. Howard is on the move early. 14-yard gain. First and 10 will run the option. Grimes will pick up another first down, this time inside the 10-yard line. This time inside the 10, it is first down at the 7. Another option play, and Rodriguez will get the ball, and he'll get tackled down close to the 1-yard line. It's third and goal from the 5. Grimes will just throw it into the end zone. And that is a great read. That is a great read here. He saw that UCF was out here in a goal line defense, and he just checked down and made the great play, throwing it to Eric Haynes out on the outside, and that's an easy score. Howard will go up 7-zip in this game. Four minutes left to go. UCF takes over from the 42. First down. In the gun, McDonald will hand it off to Schaefer, and Schaefer is tripped up by Norwood for a minimal gain. Second and nine from the 43. McDonald will drop back, look to his left, will find Schaefer, will break the tackle from Norwood, and Hicks will come there to clean up all the mess. Second and eight here on the opponent's 43. McDonald will fake the handoff to Schaefer, will throw it to Young, and Young gets near first down, but he will fumble and is picked up by Norwood. Norwood will throw the juke. And he will catch that lineman flat-footed, and he will pick up a decent return, getting down near the 40. And I don't know if that was a fumble, but it will stand. Second and 15, three minutes left to go. Grimes will hand it off to Rodriguez, and he is popped for no game. The running game has struggled all season. Third and 17 from the 48. Howard up seven. Grimes looking. Gets sacked. That drive will end right where it began. We cannot take advantage of the turnover. UCF will get the ball back late in the first from the 34. Ball will go to Schaefer. Schaefer will shuffle, get a first down before being popped by Devin Turner. Big hit by the corner. Second and four from the 48. They're on the plus side of the field yet again. McDonald dropping back. Scanning the field. will find Young across the middle right in front of Devin Turner. 
Devin Turner struggled in those one-on-one situations. He's been a lot better in zone coverage this season. Second and 10 from the 27. They're driving. They're driving. McDonald. Under center. Play action. Sitting back there. It'll be tipped by Hicks and picked off by Malik. And Malik has space. And Malik will get out near the 20-yard line on the return. That is his fifth interception of the season. And what a play. What a play. In the right place at the right time. How it'll take over. First and 10 from the 19. Grimes sees something here. He will check it down into a run play. Hand the ball to Rodriguez. And Rodriguez will not get anything. Rodriguez will not get anything. Third and 11 from the 18. Grimes in the gun. He will have to scramble to the left. Ball's almost picked off. But Haynes will make the grab and get out near the 40. Every time I see that zoom in animation, it stresses me out. But Haynes with a perfect route. Sits down in the zone. Makes the grab, and he'll get the first down. First and 10, it'll be a pitch to Rodriguez, and Rodriguez will pick up the first down on the option call. Third and 10 now at the 48-yard line. Grimes dropping back. He'll scroll to the left, and he will throw it off his back foot, and it is almost intercepted. Was looking for Haynes. Grimes is now 2-6. UCF will get the ball back. It's only a seven-point game. They can make it a game again. Schaefer will get near first down here on the draw play. And that'll bring up second and short. From the 36, man in motion. McDonald, play action. Looking for a man. Finds Gandy. Gandy has space. He will stiff arm Hicks into the turf. Second and three from the 40-yard line. McDonald in the gun. Will fake the handoff, and he will get popped by Little. And Tommy Little has been making his presence felt as of late. Last few games, he's been on a tear. Third and 11 for UCF. Dropping back. McDonald will find Clemens near the first down marker, but he will not get it. He'll come up just short. That'll bring up fourth down. Howard will take over after the punt inside their own six. Lawrence is in motion. Rodriguez will get the ball, and he will get tackled for a loss. And we got linemen coming in next year. We got two top recruits coming in next year for linemen. We need help with this running game. Grimes will take off on the scramble and get near the 30. He figures he'll have to do it all himself anyway. <laughs> and he will get the first down. First and 10 from the 27. Rodriguez will get the ball, and he will actually get the first down. He took Grimes' scramble and said, you know what? I'll do you one better. I'll get it all on the ground myself. Second and 13. Grimes in the gun. And he will look deep. And he has Haynes. And Haynes will make the grab inside the 15. Haynes has been quiet as of late. But with a big grab there, that'll get Howard in great position to extend this lead. And that's just a go route. Single coverage, safety's over the top, but the safety doesn't get there in time. And Grimes, with his great accuracy, puts the ball in perfect position. Third and five. Grimes scrambling to his left. Looking for a man. He tries to find Haynes, but he throws it into quadruple coverage. That'll be fourth down. Howard will settle for the field goal. UCF will take over. It's second and 16. He throws it and is almost picked by Norwood and almost caught off the deflection again by Malik Milton. Third and 16 from the 23. McDonald in the gun. Dropping back. Will scramble right and will be sacked by Alvin Bailey. He ran right into that one. Fourth and 17. They'll punt and Howard will take over near midfield. Grimes scrambling. Will find DeMarcus Glasper, the true freshman. He has not been that active in the passing game this year because there's so many weapons but when we call his number he's there for the play and Grimes will scramble left and a big pancake block in the end zone by Triana and Grimes will score the touchdown 18 yard scramble for the touchdown and Howard is up three possessions just like that late in the first half and that's just beautiful I mean that's been there for Grimes all season and receivers making big blocks downfield has been the reason why he's been able to do that as Howard goes into half, 17 zip. Rodriguez will get the direct snap here to start off the third quarter, and he will pick up a decent gain. First and 10 for Howard, five minutes left. They'll run the wide receiver option, and Triana will get the pitch. And that play has been there for us all season as well as Triana gets near the first down marker. Second and four from the 43. Grimes in the gun, and they will run the option again. They'll run the option again, and this time they'll pitch it to Rodriguez, and Rodriguez will get the free and easy touchdown shout out to coach Milton for not giving up on the run game and trying to get these players involved any way he can running the option here 
Grimes will take the hit, the big hit, and Rodriguez will just get the easy walk-in touchdown untouched. 24 to zip is your score here. Early in the third, McDonald will take off. He'll get the first down and then some out to midfield. Big pickup by McDonald on the ground. It'll be first and 10 from the 48. McDonald in the gun. They will do a direct snap, and Schaefer will get tackled for a loss by Malik Milton. Five tackles so far for Malik. First and 10 from the 35. McDonald in the gun. Play action. And he will look for a man. And he heard footsteps. And he will drop it. Second and 10 from the 35. McDonald looking deep. And Little with another interception. I believe that is seven now on the season. He has been on a tear ever since that Notre Dame game. And he will cap off a great season with another interception there. Grimes dropping back. Pocket collapse. He has to roll out. And he's throwing that up into triple coverage. And it is brought down by the freshman, Lamar Milton. Having guys that you could just throw the ball up to. You could just play jailhouse football with. I mean, Triana has the speed. Lamar has the jumping capability. It's just ridiculous the amount of weapons that Grimes has. And that's not to mention Cameron and Lawrence at tight end. Clancy will get the counter, and Clancy will take off down the sideline. He has space. He'll be pushed out at the 10-yard line for the big gain. Huge gain on the ground. And that's just a simple counter, and this time blocks are picked up. And Clancy, Clancy is able to get down the sideline. And having that one-two punch at running back has helped us out so much. Grimes comes out under center. We'll drop back. We'll scramble right. We'll look for Cameron. Thought Cameron was going to run the corner route, but Cameron actually ends up running a flag route and will catch the ball in triple coverage for the touchdown. And Howard is up big. 30-point lead here in the second half as Cameron jumps up over three guys. And I just mentioned him earlier. 6'8", 250. He's built like LeBron James. I mean, it doesn't get any better. It's almost like having LeBron on the team. And he'll be here for a few more seasons. He's only a sophomore as Crumpler gets the kick return. He has space up the gut. And Hines will come in on the tackle, brings him down by his face mask. But I'd rather that than to let up another kick return touchdown. But UCF will have great field position. Great field position coming into this drive. First and 10 from the 29. And they are knocking on the door of the red zone. McDonald will take off. He will get near the first down. Tackled by Nathan Stewart. That'll bring up second and three from the 22. McDonald under center will fake the handoff to Schaefer, and it is caught by Walker. Walker will get the first down. UCF is on a drive here. That's their 10th first down of the game. It is third and seven from the 10. McDonald's in the gun. He will drop back, scan in the field, and will throw it right to Malik for his second interception of the game. That's right place, right time for Malik Milton. That'll be number six on the season. Six on the season. Tried to throw the screen route, but it did not see that blue uniform sitting right in front of his receiver. And that will give us the ball back, and we won't do anything with the ball. And UCF will get the ball right back. Third and three from the 46. McDonald will drop back, and he will find Gray on the diving catch. Third and nine from the 35. Here in the fourth quarter now, McDonald dropping back. He will look deep, and Little will get the deflection, almost gets his second pick of the game. That'll bring up fourth down, and they will go for it with five minutes left to go. They got to pull something out of a hat. McDonald will take off, and he will actually get the first, stood up by Tommy Little, but not until he gets the first down. And that's first and 10 from the 19. McDonald trying to make a play. will throw the screen to Gray this time, and Gray actually will make the grab. Hicks will push him out of bounds, and that'll bring up first and goal from the two. And they'll hand the ball off to Biggers, the fullback, and that's just easy. They needed to get on the board. They needed a play to make this game a little bit more respectable. They'll get it there, and they will get the ball back after a quick field goal by Howard. And they will fumble the ball. They will fumble the ball, and that will put every hope of getting back into this game out of reach here. As Malik will force the fumble, it's recovered, and Howard will walk out of here with a 34-7 victory in the Armed Forces Bowl, capping off a 12-1 season. 12-1. We went 6-6 six six last year and missed the bowl. 
And here we are this year, 12 and one, with a big win in the Armed Forces Bowl, another nationally televised game. We gotta be making headway. I don't know how we're not a top 25 school yet, but with performances like this, the country has to be watching what's happening here in DC. Coach Milton took this team, turned them around. I mean, he only picked up two and three star recruits last offseason, but all those guys came out and balled. Alvin Bailey, Norwood, Brandon Triana. And we cap off an amazing season, 12 and 1. And what more do we have to do? What more do we have to do to open up the eyes of the college football world and get more votes? We did everything we needed. It just sucks that we had to lose to NC State. But just like that, Coach Milton gets offered a five-year extension to stay here in D.C. And you see that they're 3-3 against top 25 with three wins this year. He's 18-7, one bowl bid. He's won that bowl game. And you see the prestige going up, the program prestige going up. We're definitely going to extend it. You see that number 23 in the nation there. We finally get our top 25 rating as we go through and look at the bowl results and we've come to the end of the line for a lot of these guys that have helped make this year possible Devin Turner you got to think he's going to move on to the next level with what he's been able to do these past two years Colin Hicks with two back-to-back Jim Thorpe awards Eric Haynes even him he's been a deep threat for us uh but even with us losing top talent like that you got to think that we're in a position now with such a young team and such young leadership on this team that we got to be knocking on the door of a championship or something or or a major bowl or something. This year can't be a fluke. We finally got into the top 25, albeit last week of the season. You see us there with that 34-7 win. A lot of these other bowl games are close. That Oregon versus Clemson game was a classic, 55-46. Syracuse over Mid-Tennessee State. But you got to think, man, we... We're knocking on the door. We're on the island of relevancy now. And we're knocking on the door of some big things. Baylor will get blown out by Ole Miss. But they're without RG3. Michigan will get the win over Arkansas. Georgia over Penn State. But yeah, we're on the island of relevancy now. As Paul Heyman would put it. And we're doing our thing. And I think we will make big moves. Ohio State, big win over USC. 42-7. That wasn't even a matchup. Georgia Tech over Oklahoma. Texas A&M over Washington. I want to see that national championship score. Was Boise State able to repeat? Was Boise State able to repeat? And no, they would not repeat. Texas with the blowout. 25-point victory over Boise State. Logan Parks, five touchdowns. Five touchdowns. The game was never even close. Kellen Moore will not get to repeat. But that wraps up season two. Be on the lookout for the award ceremony short that's coming up soon. Be on the lookout for season three. I'll probably take a couple weeks off, but I'll be back, of course. Until then, you know, stay safe, stay conscious. I'm out of here. Peace.